Okay, guys, so I can't pull up the classroom and record from there, but this is the slide from class today, and I was just going to show you how to access the video guide using your Google Drive account. So if you click on the link, which it should have been a direct link for you, and I will include the link in this email, it's going to pull up a box that looks like this, okay? If you are not already signed into your Google account. Now, you see the sign in button up here at the top right, you're going to click sign in, okay, and then you're going to put in your username and password for your Google Drive account or for your Google account, okay. If you do not have a Google account, let me know or let your LC know and we can create one for you super easy fast, okay, won't take but a minute. And it's super necessary for not only the rest of the year this year but you will need it for your entire career at LAVCA. So I'm going to put in my Google Drive email address. does not have to be a Google uh, address. You can use any um, email address that you have. Okay, I'm put in my password and I hit sign in. Now once I do that it's going to bring up this uh, open with up here up at the top. Click on it. Now, if you haven't already downloaded the app called Doc Hub, and there's no space between the two, then you would hit connect more apps. You could search for it right here. D-O-C-H-U-B. No space. No space. Enter. And you can see that I already have a check sign, which means that I already have this, um, this app loaded into my Google Drive. Super awesome app because let me show you why. So if I open with DocHub, boom, it's going to bring it up just like so. Open the existing one. All right, so, and it shows the PDF that I sent you. So what you're going to want to do is up here where it has an A, click A, okay, and then you can type wherever you need to type, and then you can delete it. Now, if you need to draw a picture, because like this particular um, activity asks you to draw a picture of the cell. So it says, remember that your body is made up of millions of cells. Cells work together and perform various functions depending on their cell type. It is important to understand that cells are a part of an organi organism's level of organization. Fill in the following chart and draw a picture that represents each level. It's important that you do this because you are going to be required to draw pictures on your test. Okay, so what I can do is I go up here to the drawing tool. For those of you that have a stylist, I would use a stylist, but if you don't, that's okay too. And then you can use this to draw your little pictures, okay? All right, so go down. If we need to type, like I said, you can type. Uh, uh, the answer goes here, okay? There you go. Um, the little X closes it out. So say I'm finished with all this and I'm ready to turn it in to Miss Watkins. Okay. What am I going to do? So you get to draw a little cartoon right here. Again, guys, you have your draw tool. You can change the colors. If you want to put in a little image, look, you can put in an image. So, hypothetically, say I want to stick that in there. Oh, see, there's my image. Obviously, you're going to have to make it a whole lot smaller. And there's your tool down at the bottom. You can drag it and make it a lot smaller. That's what this tool is down here. See? And then you can move it by grabbing the blue box up at the top, wherever you want to move it. Okay? And then X out. All right, so say I have everything where I need it to go, and I'm ready to give it to Miss Watkins. Super easy. You're going to go up here to File, and you have a couple of ways that you can do this. You can 
send me the link, share link, and then all you would have to do is put Miss Watkins' email right here, L. Watkins at lavirtual.org. Okay, so you could do it that way. Um, and hit send. Now, so that's been sent to me, and it will pop. It should pop up in the bottom right hand corner in just a minute because I sent myself an email. Let's see if I can scoot that over. All right, now, or you can email attachment. How about that? To and again, you would put in my email address. L. Watkins at lavirtual.org. And if you wanted to leave me a little message, you could leave me a message, whichever. And then you would hit send. Oh, there it is. See, guys, look down here in the bottom. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like when it gets to me. There's my email. It says I sent um, a document to you or to me. I'm going to click this. There it is. And then I can just save it. All right. And then I will have it. So super easy, guys. So you have two ways of sending it to me. You can either send it to me, send me the link, or send it as an email attachment. Either way, it is not going to matter. Okay? All right, guys. I hope that helps. So get this video guide completed and to me ASAP. Don't forget, this is your grade for today in addition to your DFA, which is also linked in this email. Get it to me, guys.